What is going on guys, little dog dog here, and today I'm bringing you a 2018 quest guide for the RuneScape 3 quest, Fairy Tale Part 3, Battle at Orcs Rift. In this guide, I show you everything you need to do at a 1 to 1 ratio, so you can follow right along, do everything you need to do, starting with quest requirements, and working all the way down to the end of the quest. If this helps, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, even leave a comment down below, I love reading them, it's a bit of an ego boost for me, so if you feel like doing that, go ahead. Uh, so let's get right into it. As for the quest requirements, you're going to need to have completed Fairy Tale Part 2, of course, as this is Part 3, and you need to have also completed Wolf Whistle. As for the skill requirements, you're going to want 59 Magic, 54 Farming, 51 Thieving, 37 Summoning, and 36 Crafting. Make sure you have your summoning points, you know, up, because you're going to need um, full summoning points at the point in the quest where you need summoning. I'll let you know when that is, but just make sure you have them completely charged up, and you'll be all good. And as for the items you're going to need to bring, you're going to want a bucket of milk, one pair of regular secateurs, the magic secateurs will not work, you're going to need a draymond staff, or a lunar staff if you completed lunar isle, or lunar diplomacy, you're going to need one hammer, and you're going to want your set of combat equipment, whichever one you prefer, I use melee, you can use magic or ranged, whichever one's your best set, is what you're going to want to do. And lastly, before we get into it, these are the recommended items I think you should bring. I bring all these items along. I might not, I didn't use a prayer potion, I didn't use all the food, because I'm doing this quest at a late level, but I'm still recommending that you bring four planks, eight nails, ten food, and a prayer potion. Uh, a combat potion could be helpful as well, especially if you're low level for getting those extra boosts that'll help in the fight at the end. And to start the quest, you're going to want to go to any uh, fairy ring. This one's very close to the Yenil Lodestone, so I chose this one. So from the Yanil Lodestone, I just run north, and you're going to see a little uh, transportation symbol on your map. You're going to want to go right by that. And then you're going to make sure you equip your Draymond or Lunar Staff, whichever one you have. From this point on in the quest, you're going to just keep this equipped, so don't unequip it. So wield it, and then use the Fairy Ring. This is going to take you, as long as you did not just complete Fairy Tale Part 2, you may have to wait a little bit, to this small area here with Fairy Very Wise. She's going to talk to you and tell you that she needs your help again. Um, you have another quest, which is part three, and she's like, hey, the queen kind of needs your help. I'll cast this little spell on you so you can get to the fairy resistance HQ easier. And she's like, so will you help? And you'll be like, yeah, of course I'll help. What do I need to do? That's the chat option number four. So click to the dialogue again, and then tell her one, please teleport me there right away, and she's going to take you to the fairy resistance HQ. Now when you're here, you're going to want to go talk to the Fairy Queen. She is just to the east in the small room here, um, area I guess. There's a quest symbol on your map where she's located. She's the one in red, so you're going to want to talk to her. Click to the dialogue and then choose the second chat option when it becomes available. Yes, I'll help. This is going to bring up the quest dialogue. You can see if you need any items, but I said everything, so just accept the quest. And then click to the dialogue once again. Now she's going to give you a little rundown of what's going on and tell you you should go speak to the Tooth Fairy because she knows more of what's going on. Now you're going to want to go turn on the projector to the east. It's kind of sitting in the center of the room here facing the rock. Just turn it on. You might have to click it one or two times. And then option one or two will both work. The second option is a non-flickering option. I chose that just because I don't know if... It, I guess it's just a safer option for the video. So this is going to show a little projection here where the Tooth Fairy explains to you like about Tooth Fairy magic and like how they can grow things with people's teeth. It's kind of a long cutscene. So they plant the teeth in like these magic farm spots, these plots, and then they grow into whatever they want. This is the longest one that makes it feel any better. Oh, 
Okay, so when you're done with the little slideshow there, say, right, I understand about fairy tooth magic now. That was the fifth chat option. And she's going to tell you she has another presentation for you this time. This time about the fairy godfather and his generals. Once you get done clicking through all the dialogue here, you're going to want to choose the first chat option, yes, I'm ready, and then you're going to have to turn on the projector once again. So this is where it goes to tell you about the Godfather's generals and how they're summoning orcs and they've opened a rift and all that good stuff. They tell you how they've taken over Zanaris a little bit, how it's now populated with orcs. And how they've imbued the Godfather with this shield. The three of them have. And then it's got this little this little thing. Okay, so this is the point of the quest where we now start actually doing things. Um, so the Tooth Fairy is going to want you to go find her wand for her. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. Uh, but, the you know, get, let's get to the fun part of the quest. So you just need to click through the dialogue here. Read it if you want. I read it. It's kind of enjoyable for this quest. But, you know, you really don't have to do that. So she tells you about her wand, where to get it, how to get it. Choose the third chat option when it's available. Yes, I'll go and collect your wand. And then you're going to need to make the tooth extractor. So to make the tooth extractor, you're going to want to use the hammer on the secateurs in your inventory. It's going to turn your secateurs into a tooth extractor. And now you need to head back to Zanaris to the tooth fairy's home. To get back to Zanaris, you just need to step on any fairy ring. It's going to take you there. So the fairy ring is located in the southwestern corner of the fairy resistance HQ. Use the fairy ring. Make sure you still have your Draymond or Lunar Staff equipped for this to work. And then run northwest from the fairy ring here to the fairy's house. It is the one just northwest of the bank. Once you get there, you're going to want to use the tooth extractor on the door. This is going to pick the lock as long as you have the thieving requirement. Then you're going to want to open the door and talk to Gnarly. Now, Gnarly is like a tooth thing that they grew. You saw it on a projector cutscene there when they grew him. He's hiding the wand. He knows where it's at. Choose the fourth chat option. Can I do something for, it, for you in return for the wand? And then you're going to need to compliment Gnarly using these chat options. They're random. Whichever one shows up, you need to pick. And he's got a bar on the top left, which I stupidly covered, that shows where he's at with you. So just make sure you're complimenting him, choosing those chat options that you see on screen. You're a wonderful guard tooth with lovely cusps. I can see your bicuspid ancestry as an example to all molar kind. Your enamel shimmers like a river of silver in the moonlight, and I've never seen such amazing, inspired, and dreamlike toothiness. Um, once you've complimented him enough times, he'll be like, hey, get me milk. So use the bucket of milk on Gnarly to butter him up a little more. That was a dairy joke. All right, and he tells you, like, hey, I can grab the wand, but you can't see where it's at. So he tells you to close your eyes. Your character's like, you want me to close my eyes? Are you insane? But, you know, just do it. It's the quest. You just want to do it. So choose the second chat option when it pops up. Okay, I'll close my eyes. He goes black for a second. He comes back, and Gnarly has the wand in his mouth. Now, he says he's not going to give it to you. He has to take it to the Tooth Fairy himself. So say, okay, okay, keep your enamel on. I'll pick you up. So now you're going to want to return to the Fairy Resistance HQ using the Fairy Ring. Fairy Ring is just to the south and then to the east.
Make sure you still have that Draymond or Lunar Staff equipped and select the Fairy Ring. And then select the Fairy Resistance HQ choice at the bottom and choose Teleport to this location. You should only have to do this once since the spell was cast on you. Now return to the Tooth Fairy. And you're going to want to talk to her. You're going to give her her wand. And there's going to be another projector show for you to watch. This is the final one for the quest. This one is the one that tells you how to actually beat the Godfather and, you know, everything you need to do to do that. So turn on the projector. And it's going to run you through the plan to defeat the Godfather, involving planting the three teeth of his generals who have put the shield up around him and having them attack him to disarm the shield. To do this, you have to get the three teeth of the generals, which uh, is a whole process. But, you know, we do it. We do it. So after this, he, um, she tells you she needs to take your tooth. So say two, yes, I understand all that, and choose the second chat option again, yes, I accept. So this is the part where she tells you she needs to take your tooth, and the tooth extraction team will be the one to do that. <clears throat> your character's not cool with it, but, you know, whatever. It's part of the quest, and, you, you know, you can't feel any real pain. So choose the third chat option here. Pain, bring it on, replace my tooth. Click through the dialogue and continue with the fourth chat option. Okay, thanks. Now you're gonna to wanna to stand on the patch of yellow flowers just to the south, go into your emotes and use the wave emote. This is gonna summon in the tooth extraction team. Make sure you have your tooth remove or your tooth extractor in your inventory for this to work. Choose the wave emote and you're gonna get a cutscene here where the tooth extraction team shows up and they come to mess your mouth up. Uh, hilarious cutscene ensues, ensues. And they replace your tooth with a magic tooth. Now the Tooth Fairy is going to give you a dossier, dossier about the generals. So you have to open that up and read it a little bit. So just open it up, click through, and then hit the X. You don't actually have to read anything because this is a guide, and I tell you what you need to do. Don't try doing things on your own. Rely on me. So now you're going to want to go back to Zanaris because that's where we're going to find the first general. So use the fairy ring again when you have the lunar or Draymond staff equipped. And the first general is just to the northwest by the mill. I'm walking around in the general area right there. So he's the big dude. It's General Briegeth, 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 one of those, maybe, I don't know. He's used the third chat option, what's wrong with your mouth? He gets offended, but then you're like, nah, dude, you're missing a tooth. And he's like, oh, Kachunk took a swipe at me, we banished him. Don't worry about it, dude. So, he's a little smarter than the other orcs, and he won't tell you where Kachunk is, but all you need to do is talk to a nearby orc, because they're stupid. So, you talk to him, and just straight up ask, Do you know anything about K-Chunk? It's the fourth chat option, and they're like, Oh, we banished him here. You can go talk to this fairy who tried to get in the way. She probably knows where he's at. <clears throat> so, you need to go back to the fairy ring once you're done talking to this orc. And Fairy Fix-It is going to be walking around, flying around, I guess, the fairy ring that we've been using this entire time, and I don't know why I had to put a map of it up. You got it, though. It helps, I guess. So you're going to talk to a fairy fix-it, flying around like a fairy, and choose the second chat option. What do you know about K-Chunk? She says, oh, these freaking orcs tried to force him through the fairy ring, but I managed to send him somewhere without, you know, like, killing anybody or destroying the system. She tells you where to go. 
So you're going to want to use the fairy ring and tele teleport to the coordinates DIP. A little bit dip. Teleport to that location. <clears throat> and you're going to be taken to an island with K Chunk. You can just be walking around here. All you have to do is talk to him. I was really struggling to make my way around the island here, as you can see. So talk to K-Chunk and ask the fourth chat option. You knocked out Bragat's tooth, didn't you? He's all like proud of it. Like, heck yeah, I knocked his tooth out. I'm a god. I'm K-Chunk. Get on my level. Uh, and he tells you he's got it in his pocket. So you're going to right click on him and select pickpocket. And then while we're here, uh, if you did bring the planks, you're going to want to use the planks on the bridge and repair it. Uh, you can't repair the other side. You have to repair that side from Mostly Harmless. So return to Zanaris <clears throat> through the fairy ring. Now that you're back, you're going to want to teleport to the next coordinates for the next general, BKQ. This is going to take us to the Enchanted Valley. And it's going to teleport you into a little cave behind a waterfall. Now you can just walk out from behind the waterfall. It's a small hill there. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking for an agility shortcut, as you can see here in the jump cut. Uh, but you just kind of walk behind it. So you're going to want to talk to General Gromblad. He's the big old orc looking dude walking around with a bunch of dryads and centaurs and he looks out of place. Uh, so talk to him and he's going to be like, get the, get the mess out of here. So talk to one of the nearby dryads or centaurs. I talk to a dryad, so stick with the dryads and choose the first or the second chat option. I see Gromblads here it, with that amount of excitement in it, you know, a like exclamation point. She tells you, yeah, he is. Get him out. So go back and talk to Gromblad and just see what he needs. So click through and he's like, dude, I'm looking for a mango. All I want is a mango. Can you please just get me a mango? So go back to the dryad and the dryad's like, hey, I know where mangoes are. And she's going to teleport you there. Oh, God. She doesn't teleport you there. She casts a spell that allows you to teleport there. I apologize, but I'm not editing that out. I made a mistake. So you're going to go back behind the waterfall, use the fairy ring. And then standing where you are in Zanaris, teleport to CLR. Now there's a mango tree right there. You're just going to pick a mango from the tree. It's just to your west. And then use the fairy ring again to return to Zanaris. Use the fairy ring again, teleport to BKQ to go back to the Enchanted Valley. You should be able to just select it this time from the bottom now that you've used it. It's going to return you to the Enchanted Valley and then use the mango on General Grom Gromblad. Now, for some reason, mangoes are like the softest fruit, but he somehow bit his, like, lost a tooth in the mango. So go retrieve the mango. Just click on it. And then once it's in your inventory, you need to use the tooth extractor on it. You can't just click on it to extract the tooth. You actually have to, you have to actually use the tooth extractor on the mango. And you'll get the tooth out and get rid of the mango. So now return to Zanaris using the fairy ring system. That's the, just the one behind the waterfall. And then once you're back in Zanaris, you're going to want to use the fairy ring again and teleport to the coordinates A, L, P. Now just to the north, there's going to be General Shred Flesh. Shred Flesh. I can't talk today, guys. I really, I'm, 
I've edited enough out. I'm not doing it anymore. I just cannot talk. So choose the fourth chat option. Can I help with something? And then you're going to want to choose options one, two, three in any order, but you have to choose four last. So just choose them one, two, three, and four just to be safe. Basically, he's got a sore tooth and you're like, hey, I'm a dentist, man. I can pull that thing. So once you tell him you're a dentist and you want to pull it, he's kind of a little baby about it. And he's like, I don't want it. That's going to hurt. So just like you did with Gnarly earlier, you have to convince him to do what you want. It's going to have that same bar I cover up on the left side because I'm an idiot. Uh, but you just kind of have to go for it. So uh, you want to choose the options, what's a bit of pain to a big orc hero like you. If the tooth isn't pulled out, all your teeth will hurt much worse. Let me pull it out. What are you, an orc or a goblin? And I'll make sure it doesn't hurt a bit. I'm a professional. Those are the options that you need to pick to convince him to do what you want him to do. And once you've done that, he'll like lean down and allow you to pull his tooth. So once you finally got him convinced, you're going to want to use the tooth extractor on shred flesh. He'll be bent over a little bit. Your character will pull his tooth. Once again, it for the squeamish, it censored it. You gonna pull that thing out. You have to click. I thought it was a cutscene, so this is why. Yeah, there it is. I realized. And once you've got his tooth, you're gonna to want to return to Zanaris using the fairy ring. Once you're back in Zanaris, you're gonna to want to go back to the fairy resistance HQ. You should just be able to select the option, and it'll take you right there. And then go back to the Tooth Fairy. Talk to the Tooth Fairy. And it's going to turn out I lied to you earlier in that there is one more projector that we have to turn on because I forgot. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, but this, this one is the last one. So when you're done talking to the Tooth Fairy, you're going to want to turn on the projector. And, uh, and you're going to get another little projection. Now this is the final stage where she tells you like what to do, how to do it, how to heal them, you know, once you've grown them. And she's going to give you a wand of your own once you get through here. It was a short one, that's why I forgot about it. So she tells you like, "Hey, when you're ready, go to the the rift if you're ready to battle those orcs." So there's your wand. You use that to heal the people. We'll go more into detail later when you actually need to do it. Just keep it in your inventory. You don't need to do it yet. And when you're done with the dialogue here, choose the fifth shot option. Okay, thanks. Now you're going to want to return to Zanaris again using the fairy ring. Now you're going to want to use the fairy ring and go to the bottom and teleport to Orcs Rift and return to Zanaris. Like the first time you teleported to the Fairy Ring HQ, you need to do this four times before you arrived at the correct location. So it's gonna take you through where you teleported for the generals. So the first time it's gonna take you here where the quest started. Use the Fairy Ring again. This is gonna return you to Zanaris. The second time, I believe it's gonna take you to the island with Kachunk. You can just click on Orcs Rift once again. It'll change the coordinates and teleport you where you need to be. Once you're on the island with K Chunk, just use the fairy ring to teleport back. Use the fairy ring again. Press Orcs Rift. Gonna teleport you to CLR. This is where the mango was on Ape Atoll. Use the fairy ring to teleport back. 
That's my air conditioning. Don't worry about it. Use the fairy ring again. And this time it's going to teleport you actually to Orcs Rift. ALP. Now once you're here, you're going to want to look through the uh, fairy tree here. And it's going to trigger a cutscene where you see what's going on with the fairy godfather and all his minions. Including the three generals. He's all excited about having his wand. And then when the cutscene's over, you're going to be back behind the fairy tree. And the tooth fairy is going to be there, and you're going to want to talk to the tooth fairy. Now she'll tell you that as soon as you go in there, it's going to be combat time. You need to be ready and um, need to fight them. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get in there is to plant your teeth. She tells you uh, how to do that, where to do that, and how to take care of them. But she tells you as soon as you go in there, you're also going to start being under attack. So when you're ready, you're going to want to squeeze through the fairy tree and plant the three teeth. Make sure you're ready for combat. So you, um, once you go in there, whatever you see, you're taking the most damage from. I was taking the most damage from magic. Don't know if it'll be the same for you, but I'm using a melee set. At this point, you can equip your regular weapon and use any potions you plan on using. The fight isn't too difficult, but once again, I am a higher level than you would expect for this. So as soon as you go in, you're going to want to plant the three teeth. Do not wait. Do not start fighting. Just plant the three teeth immediately. That's going to make this go much faster. You can see that I started fighting General Shredflesh right here, um, rather than plant the, th the second and third tooth, which made it go a lot slower. I also forgot to equip my main hand weapon because I'm an idiot. Just plant the three teeth as soon as you can. Once you've got the three teeth planted, you're going to want to focus on killing the generals. One of the generals is going to poison your uh, teeth here. You have to heal them with a wand. The other general is going to bind you in place. And the third general is summoning the other orcs from the rift. Um, I would recommend killing the general summoning the orcs first. Then General Shredflesh, who's going to poison your, uh, your teeth plants. And then the other one who binds you in place. Um, I believe that's Gromblad, who's binding you in place. You need to equip the wand to heal your farming patches if any of them become diseased or damaged by shred flesh. Once you click on them once and heal them, you can equip your regular weapon again until um, they're grown. You'll want to kill all the orcs. Just make sure you kill the three generals first. I did not realize myself that they were being summoned because I'm an idiot. So I'm just killing these little orc warriors here for a good amount of time. Then it finally clicked that, you know, Gromblad's summoning them because he's banging on a freaking war drum over here. And then once all three generals are dead, you can kill the rest of the little orc warriors. Once you've uh, killed all the warriors and your teeth have all grown, or one of them has grown, tell them to attack and then equip the wand to heal them. Uh, you need to keep them alive until they've done their part in taking down the Godfather's shield. If you don't do this, the fight is not going to work. They only need to be alive for a good 30 seconds to do this. So when it's just you and the Godfather, you just have to wait for the farming patches to grow. Once the first one is grown, you're going to right click on it and select attack. Um, you can also select follow me, it'll follow you, and because you're in combat it'll begin attacking, but just want to go with begin attack, and because the Godfather does quite a bit of damage, you're just going to want to equip that wand and spam click the guy. Don't just do it once, I would recommend literally just spam clicking him. You're going to want to attack with all of them, and you'll get a message telling you that the Godfather's shield is partly broken each time um, one of the ivory generals takes him down. Once his shield is completely down, at that point you can focus him, the purple around him will be gone. Once all three are alive, you kind of have to balance out which one and remember which ones have been attacking for a shorter time, a longer time, and whichever ones are going to die.
say one shield left and then once a shield is down you can equip your main weapon again nobody cares about the ivory generals and kill them yourself once he's dead you're going to want to talk to him to trigger a cutscene and he's all like you foiled my plan how dare you and then the other fairies are going to come in and force that boy through the rift make him deal with all his own problems now they're going to try and seal the rift up here by like stitching it because they're like all kind of dentists and doctors and they have those skills um, but the godfather's extreme evil doesn't allow it so it explodes Now there's going to be a bunch of ivory generals walking around that you can fight if you want to. I believe there's a benefit to doing that. I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. Like you can get their teeth and sell them or something. Or I think there might be a pet. But uh, you'll get teleported out. You can go back to Orcs Rift anytime using fairy rings. But once you're here, you're going to want to talk to the fairy queen. She'll thank you for everything you've done. Like, oh my god, you helped us so much. Uh, oh, oh. Um, and she's going to offer to send you back to Martin the Master Gardener to turn in the quest and complete the quest series. So obviously we want to do that. So choose the first chat option. Yes, please send me there now. You'll be teleported next to Martin the Master Gardener, wherever he is. Talk to him. Choose the second chat option to talk about the farming problem and fairies. Click through the dialogue here. And once you get done with the dialogue, that is going to be quest complete. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below, check out my other videos if you're bored, even join the friends chat, littledogdog15, if you're interested. I'm going to start streaming soon as well. If you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe because I'll be posting videos on my channel when I'm going to be streaming so that more people know. Thank you and love you.